While your website may be set up slightly differently than this one, all websites have different sections of content, such as seen here, the product section, the videos, the way the home page is laid out. And if I go to a different page, you'll see here the text on the About Us page, the capabilities there, and the Contact Us here. The main section of the website where the content the main content is is known as an article in Joomla terms and this can be seen as either a magazine or a newspaper article to edit this information you need to go into your administration control panel and you'll find yourself when you log in at the site dashboard like this the icons here may be different may look slightly different but this is the general starting point when you log into Joomla. You'll see at the menu at the top there's an article section and if we click into the article manager this allows us then to manage all of the articles on the website. So the main section of your website the content pages are generally articles as I said before and this is where we manage them. You'll see here there's a title column and this shows us the title of each of the individual articles in this website. And you can edit the articles and they generally need to be named so that they, you know, obviously correspond with the page that you're looking at. If you put a sentence of text into these titles, which you are able to do, it won't really make much sense to you when you look at it in a list like this. So it's best to keep it to correspond with the menu. So we've got an about us capabilities and contact us for example and you'll see that we have capabilities contact us about us as well. So it makes it easy to find them. So we're going to edit the about us article today just do a simple edit on it to show you how it works and I'll quickly explain the article manager to you while we're at it. You'll see a status here and this basically means um, it's published or it's unpublished. If it's published, it's like a magazine article, it's published and available to the public. If I hover over this, you can see it's published and it's current. If I click on the icon, it will go red and that means it's unpublished. So that means it's no longer available to the public. Now, the issue with unpublishing articles itself is that generally there's a menu item or a text link somewhere on a page that is linking to it. If you set these up yourself afterwards then you'll understand and you'll know how menus work but if you unpublish an article without knowing what you're doing um, basically if I refresh the page now I'll have an error because I've clicked on the menu item and you'll see it in the URL up the top um, there's generally it means um, it's trying to find a page that isn't available anymore. So I'll just publish this again by clicking the icon and if I refresh the page again, I should see the page come back again. So there's the About Us section. You'll see there's a category column here. And the About Us article, for example, is an uncategorized category. I won't go into categories here, but we can name categories and add articles to any categories we like. And this really only helps us to organize articles when you've got a few. You'll see that there's a testimonials category here and that basically tells me that the articles inside those are testimonials or at least are relative to testimonials. So that just helps me filter different categories and articles and it's a good way of managing them when you've got a few. At the bottom here you'll see you can display a number of articles. At the moment we've only got a few and they all fit onto this page nicely but later on if we have 200 articles it may be a little bit um, overwhelming so basically we will show 20 pages here and then we have a next link and it will keep going through we can change this if we want to see more than 20 as you can see we can view 100 or we can view all of the articles that are available there are other ways of filtering as well we can do a text search here and because we're looking at the moment at editing the about us article I'll just put about in there. We don't need to be too specific as long as the title includes the word about we should be fine. So I'll just search for that and you'll see 
that's the only article that comes up that's got the word about in the title. If I want to clear the search results, just press clear and this shows then all of the results again. We can filter a few different ways including the category here so we can select maybe all of the articles that are to do with the testimonials category and here they are you'll see the other ones disappear and this helps us filter through when you've got several so it's a good idea to use categories when you start using more and more articles like i said in a different tutorial i'll let you know how to manage categories if i want to clear these results just press the default option there and then we get all of the articles back again the access here basically means it's available to the public and we are able to change that to make people have to log in to see some content but currently the way the website is is really the best way to leave the access and if you need help with this later then you know of course we've got other tutorials for you to look at this tells you who it's created by when it was created and all of those kind of things now to edit articles or to manage them we can click on this box here and that highlights this whole article here and we can use actions like publish, unpublish, archive and trash. And that means we can obviously delete them or unpublish them which does the same thing as clicking on this icon here. And we can also press edit to edit the article or we can, which is what I usually do, just simply click on the link of the name. So we click in there and this is the edit article screen to take a look at it's quite straightforward really when you look at it there's the title this is required obviously which is why there's an asterisk there the title is already there we can simply type over it if we want to and that's no problem the category we can assign that to the article so we can cho choose to put this in the testimonials category if we want to or we can leave it as it is there's the access I was mentioning before we can choose only registered users to be able to see this and that requires obviously a login form and registration details which is a little bit more complex we can publish or unpublish the article here or trash it it's up to us and um, the alias here is really based on the url of the website so it will have a forward slash then about us on this page when you when you look at the url um, if you change the title it's best to just remove, delete the alias completely. When you save the page, the alias will be automatically written for you. So that's a good way of doing it rather than having to worry about a page not called about us and still have an alias of about us. So it's best to remember to delete that as well. <clears throat> just keep the titles short, like I mentioned, and make sure they're relative. This is generally what you find on a normal WordPress word processor document, sorry and um, it has all the general tools you need bold italic underlying text aligning left and right and things like that generally your website is set up so that all of your pages are consistent the layout of your pages the text size the colors everything are consistent already so it's best not to play around too much with font sizes and, and colors and things like that just to make sure it stays looking professional and consistent if you need to edit text here you can simply click on the mouse button and type wherever you'd like to type that's no problem you can highlight the text and delete a section of it by pressing delete Let's add some more on it press enter to add new paragraphs etc so it's quite straightforward if you need to make the text bold you just highlight it like you would in a word processor document and then you can easily manage it that way it's very simple the buttons at the top here are quite important and there's a little bit of a difference between the two save buttons there the first one basically saves the changes you've made and lets you stay on this screen so you can continue editing the page now it's important to know that when you save any changes on your website like this on the articles the changes are live straight away on the front of the website as soon as the page is refreshed people will see a new version of the of the page so it's, it's you know good to make sure that you've got everything right so we generally just press save first so we can stay on this screen and continue editing later go to the front of the website so i'll press save now and now it will refresh and it says article saved successfully there so then we go to the front of the page and i refresh it and you'll see my changes are there now you may look at that and say oh i've made a typing error i need to quickly change that as quickly as possible so that people who see it don't think um, you know that we 
how sloppy of our typing. So I'll go through into this and I'll just highlight the errors that I've made and I'll press save again quickly. So it goes live. So that's been saved successfully again. I'll refresh the page and then the text is all gone. If I press save and close, basically what happens is it saves the changes just the same, except for it closes the edit page that we were on and brings you back to the article manager. Now this isn't a problem because we can click back into the article again and then edit it. It just means you have that extra step to go back in again. So I like to press save until I'm happy, then I'll press save and close and I know it's saved, closed and it's finished with. On the other hand, if you've got the close button up there, this doesn't save anything. So I can make as many edits to this as I like and then I'll press close up the top there and it doesn't do anything. It takes me back to this page and where I can go back in and you'll see none of the changes I made then are actually apparent. That's a good thing to do if you start editing in a page and you think, oh, that's wrong, I shouldn't have done that. Let's scrap what I've done, let's start again. You can press close and you know none of the changes you've made have been saved. And that's basically how you edit an article in Joomla.